In the wild, the cubs wouldn't start hunting for another few months. So Lee is building some animals that may be a little easier to catch. We've got all our materials here that we need to make our giraffe decoy for the cubs this morning. Because we have to use natural items, because if they do happen to eat it, um, it obviously won't affect them in any way. Also, we put some elephant dung into the middle of the giraffe and um, place it on a root when they go on a walk. So they actually stumble across it like they would with game in the park. Lion handler, teacher, is on hand to help. We are going to see if he will stand, um, which is... <laughs> We've got some little yellow flowers that we're using for his eyes. So we're just popping those in now. I think we're going to call him Jerry the giraffe. Jerry's actually giving his life for conservation, so it's a good thing. Jerry the giraffe is one of several possible savanna animals that Lee has built to attract the cub's attention. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. We've got a surprise for you. Yes, we have. Teacher goes ahead to plant these makeshift animals. We're going to make our way down to where we've put the animal decoys and see how they react. Come, Gilly. Come on, babies, come. Come on. Come, lions. Africa's already picked up that there's something different on the route. Um, he's a little bit wary of it at the moment. He was actually calling to it just now, um, but he's starting to make his way in slowly just to see what it is. Lion's sense of smell is good, but the sharp eyes and hearing help them to hone in on prey. It's interesting because they're approaching it from behind because they know the scary bits in the front where the ears are. Because when they, when they do come across game, especially with zebras, they'll sometimes bite the cubs and they use their front hooves to actually kick them. So it's good that they're going behind. So they've just opened it now and they've realized that there's actually elephant dung inside. So it'll be interesting to see how they react with the elephant because he's actually got meat inside of him. In the wild, lions regularly go days between meals. If Africa and Alika want their lunch, first they must take on this strange looking elephant. When a pride hunt together, they are one of the most successful of the big cats making a kill about one in every three to five attempts. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, so both lines now are on the kill. Once they open it up and they realize it's actually meat, they'll start uh, getting quite possessive over it. Even though Alika hunted it, just like in the wild, it's Africa, the male, who steps in to claim the lion's share. Usually the dominant boy will have He'll usually grab the whole kill for himself and stand there, will sit there and growl, and the rest of the boys will make their way in really slowly. Because um, males are not willing to share. Females are a lot more willing to share when it comes to food. When lions feast, males can eat up to 15% of their body weight in a sitting. Their behavior changes a lot when they have meat. They go from a cute, cuddly little lion to the savage beast. And uh, that's what we want them to do. For the, in order for them to carry on, they need to have these skills. And it might just look like they're playing with a bunch of grass at the moment, but for them, this is stimulating them in every aspect that we need them to.